Welcome to Honest Whispers Inspection, Review, and Sale. On this video, I'll be inspecting and reviewing a Marvel Universe Psylocke Age of Apocalypse 6 inch bust released by Diamond Select Toys back in 2006, limited to 3,000 pieces. As you can see, this particular bust right here is number 188 out of 3,000. It is signed by the sculptor Eric Sosa and based on the art by Chris I honestly don't know how to pronounce his name but it's Chris Bacello, Bacello. and this bust is a line of other uh, the Age of Apocalypse line so there are other characters that come with it like Wolverine Cyclops and this particular bust has never been taken out of the box before and as you can see on the wrapping it's very smooth there's no new creases the only time I opened it was when I originally bought it I inspected it for any damages and everything looked good I resealed it and had it in storage pretty much all this time. And as you can see the design is pretty good. It is your, uh, well it's not your prototypical bust because otherwise it would just be the head right here pretty much the head and upper, upper uh, torso or the chest. Uh, this one they did sculpt all the way down to her upper thighs. As you can see, they didn't sculpt their arms. Her hair does kind of go all the way around. And the base uh, is a nice little base. Round, it has of course the X and the Age of Apocalypse logo, which is consistent and all the same base for the other characters in the same line. So when someone or when you buy something that's supposed to be new, do make sure that there's no new creases or it's not wrinkled up. These bags, these cellophane or plastic bags are pretty much like a dollar bill or any other bag. If you create more wrinkles, if you take it out and rewrap it, you're going to end up creating new wrinkles. And, and uh, for instance, this bag right here, this is a used bag. You can see a lot of wrinkles already. There are certain smooth parts, I mean, barely, but I try to use this as a demonstration. And as you can see, when I crunch it up or rewrap it, you will definitely see that even more, I mean, just from before, like now it looks even more wrinkled up than even before. So this one, for instance, the way it's been flattened, you can see how it's almost paper thin. So definitely that is a huge sign. Whether if the box is in good condition or bad condition, uh, a lot of sellers do tend to lie or at least uh, exaggerate. Uh, whether the statue's been or the bust has been taken out or uh, or when they just generalize certain damages or don't disclose specific damages or blemishes or flaws. So going over this bust itself, the design is pretty nice overall for the bust. I usually like it when it's closer to a statue so the more body parts it has this isn't a huge problem for me but if she did have sculpt sculpted arms then I probably would have liked this a lot better uh, the fact that she doesn't really doesn't hurt it's still a consistent design with the other characters in the Age of Apocalypse bust line so the design, I would still give this a high score at a 9 out of 9. The sculpting itself, unfortunately, I'm doing the review 
over this bag so you're not going to get the clearest shot uh, but you can still see a lot of nice um, sculpting done like her with the blue line on her costume you can easily see how it's sculpted and it's not just painted on hair the lines on her hair certain areas are kind of you know it's not just f perfectly like flat and filled you can see certain parts of her hair splits up has a nice effect face mask everything looks well proportioned so I would have definitely been happy with this unfortunately I have decided to let this go for many different reasons and for instance when you look at the back you can see how it's still pretty much straight and you can see right there that's pretty that's where that flat creases and you can't really see any new creases they're all original creases I'm definitely not going to take this out but I did want to show just a glimpse of the back so from here you can see in different angles costume and the painting is definitely consistent it's unfortunate you can't really see it but uh, her butt looks pretty well proportioned and nicely sculpted there is an X on the back as well and as you can see it's back in its place and you do want to be careful I always handle even if it's something like this small and doesn't really have much delicate or fragile parts always want to handle with two hands be careful uh, at least in this particular moment I, I didn't want to create any new wrinkles or have the bus slip out although it does feel pretty much sturdy in there since the wrapping has been uh, I guess in this position for you know ever pretty much since it was first wrapped in it so I definitely don't want to uh, in other words create you know I guess deform it by you know having it slip out or anything either way always be careful and so going back on the sculpting I would probably rate this a high sculpting score as well uh, I mean one of the reasons why I'm not keeping this is because I unfortunately I didn't get any of the other characters from the Age of Apocalypse line so she was kind of a standalone so it just kind of made sense so sculpting I would give it a high 9 out of 9 and then as far as the painting goes as I shown before while I was going over the front and the back even right there on the blue costumes most lines are pretty much straight I mean this area right here where kind of you know I guess between her legs it kind of caves in so I could see how it's a difficult area for any painter to paint so you know I mean for what it is right there that's not bad my only problem is when you really look closely the line does get slightly squiggly so I usually like symmetry and straight lines pretty much where it's supposed to be straight as you can see her eyes are painted good that's usually a problem with statues and busts when you get cross-eyed or googly eye so that's pretty much symmetric and straight the size looks pretty much straight uh, even the little circle the red circle very clean looks like an actual circle so the painting itself it's definitely a high quality I mean there are minor flaws uh, one flaw you probably can't really t tell 
unless you look really close like I do, and you know, because I get kind of OCD when when it comes to this. And it's very minor. I I guess you probably can't even see it in this, but her mask, the nose of her mask, the way it kind of tips over, it's just slightly to our left or her right. So it's not a perfect uh, straight angle, I guess you could say. Like a perfect right triangle doesn't have that peak, symmetrical peak. But of course it's only minor and you can't really tell unless you're looking very, very closely at it. So I would give the painting an 8 out of 10. It's still definitely high quality and as you can see even the hair is not just purple but they added some light purple to kind of give that uh, shaded effect. So it definitely looks kind of realistic. It is all matte finish pretty much so you know if they kind of did a little more gloss like just on the costume that's always a plus so going to quality or the value I'm sorry which does kind of cover the quality the quality overall is good but unfortunately with the value this is also about supply and demand uh, a 3000 size isn't too bad that's usually pretty good but unfortunately Age of Apocalypse is a future timeline and as far as I know, Psylocke, uh, she was in the beginning, but later on, she didn't, uh, she's kind of stopped appearing on the newer Age of Apocalypse comics and storyline. So unfortunately, the value is not that high. I would give this, like for instance, uh, I probably bought this statue or when it came out, it was probably around forty dollars maybe fifty and right now in the aftermarket you could pretty much find a statue which is what 2006 so 12 years old uh, pretty much at the same retail price so the value really didn't go up uh, I don't really see this value going up too much higher either way maybe five ten years from now it might double but that's a very slow increase compared to many other statues and busts out there. So I would give this value score a 6 out of 10. So overall I would give this a 7 out of 10. Just going over the design, the painting, the sculpting, the value. Uh, of course not in that order. And just, you know, Psylocke's a cool character too so she definitely has a huge fan base so unfortunately she's just her character's just not at least from I didn't really read all of it but when I do see the new ones she's not really in it so she's just this age of apocalypse Psylocke just isn't used as much so you just won't see that kind of demand so to recap I give the design a 9 out of 10, sculpting 8 out of 10, painting, I'm sorry, sculpting 9 out of 10, painting 8 out of 10, value 6 out of 10, and overall 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching, until next time.